name is Joel Solomon. I'm a prosperity coach, and my mission is to help at least 100,000 people become financially free. So welcome to the last video, video number 12 of the, your financial freedom video series. So we'll be talking this time about my proprietary stock screen. And this is something that I talk a little bit about in my book, but you're going to get the full five steps. So the first step you learned last time about some ratios. So the first step is to see if the earnings per share growth of the company in the current quarter is greater than 5%. If the EPS growth, so you're comparing the earnings per share for the current quarter, say it's third quarter 2018, compared to the third quarter of 2017. So for this particular company we're looking at, the earnings per share growth was 25%. They earned a dollar per share this quarter compared to 80 cents in the third quarter of 2017. So that's a 25% increase. So that would be $1 less 80 cents or 20 cents divided by 80 cents is 25%. So the first step is to check if the EPS growth is greater than 10%, and in this case it is. So you move on. The second step is to check if the revenue growth is greater than 5%. And for this particular company, the revenues were 100 million for this quarter, and the revenues for last year's third quarter was 90 million. So that's an 11% increase. 100 minus 90 divided by 90, or 10 over 90 is 11%. So 11% is greater than 5%, which is our test for number two, step number two. So 11 is greater than five, so we move on. Step three is, is number one greater than number two? Is the earnings per share growth greater than the revenue growth? Which means that the operating margin is expanding. So in this case, the earnings per share growth was 25%. Revenue growth was 11%. So 25 is greater than 11. We move on. We move on to step four. And step four is, is the PE less than the earnings per share growth in the quarter? For this particular company, the PE is 20. And the earnings per share growth from number one was 25%. So 25% or 25 is greater than 20. So we move to step five. Step five is a market indicator. And we look at how did the stock perform on the day after it reported earnings. So if it reports earnings in the morning, how did the stock perform that day? If it reports earnings that night, say the night of September 23rd, you look at the stock performance for September 24th. So we look at the stock performance. Stock performance for this company after it reported earnings per share growth of 25% and revenue growth of 11%, the stock was up 1%. So there's two ways to do this. The very conservative way is to see if the stock performed better than the overall market. On this particular day, the stock market was up a half a percent. The stock was up 1%. So one is greater than 0.5, and the stock meets all the criteria. If we were to be aggressive, we just say, is the stock up or not? If the stock was up, then we say, okay, it meets the criteria for step number five. Well, in either case, this stock meets that criteria. So it met all five steps, so the stock is a buy. So that's my five-step proprietary stock screen. Please ask if you have any questions about this video or any other videos of the Financial Freedom video series. Thanks for watching. I believe in you.